gentlemen. Un fuerte aplauso para Tim. What? Chance. No, no, you did, you did it good. Do it again. No, no, you did it, you did it, you did it. Chance Torazu. Un fuerte aplauso para él. That was good, dude. That was good. Oh, okay, damn. Who is it? Security. Uh, okay, I didn't know I was going to go first, but hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, make some noise for the married couple. Uh, okay, hi. My name is Tim. Um... I've literally, Eric has been my BFF since high school. Literally known this dude for uh, over 20 years. 23 years, wow. Uh, that's crazy. He actually spoke at my wedding five years ago as one of my groomsmen. Um, so I won. <laughs> Took you long enough. Uh, <laughs> now, nah, but um, you know, me and Eric, uh, have always kind of like low-key had competition, like low-key, you know what I'm saying? Like in high school, we would audition for musicals together, and then we started working at California Pizza Kitchen together, and I moved out, bought a condo, he moved out, bought a condo, and then one year I got married, and he was like, watch this, bam, babies, two of them. <laughs> Skipped the whole step, it was crazy. <laughs> But uh, nah, man, like, you know, we met back in PE class in, at Paramount High, Pirate for Life. And, um, and you know, we met in PE class. We used to walk the, the track every day. It was a mile. We walked four laps every day. And it was like, you know, before I met Eric, it was super boring, super repetitive. You know what I'm saying? You're on the same uh, route every day. You're just doing the same thing, right? And then I met Eric. And you know, we became friends and it, and it wasn't boring anymore. Then it was like, we started talking about our hopes and our dreams and our, our goals for life and um, of like one day becoming successful entertainers. And we did that shit, bro. Wow. And then you know what else we would talk about? We used to talk about, bro, imagine one day when we're like married and our kids are playing together and we did that shit too. Wow. Um, and legit, you know, we set up little play dates with our babies and it makes me so emotional, you know? Um, and you know, it got me thinking about like how, you know, love and relationships is kind of like you're walking on a, a track in PE class. Because when you're with the wrong people, you feel like it's just going nowhere. You're doing the same thing over and over again and it leads to nothing. But then you meet that one person that changes everything and they open up a whole new world and everything changes. And I remember when Eric first started dating Vanessa, he showed me a video of her with a hoodie on, looking all goofy, <laughs> dancing to the Office theme song. And I was like, yo, she's a keeper, bro. That's like, she's different, you know? And, um, you know, back when Eric, when he made a speech at my wedding, he said that, uh, he was thankful for me because uh, he's, he said I gave him kind of like his foundation in high school. I helped you be confident and all that. But honestly, bro, like without you, man, I, I wouldn't be doing what I do. I wouldn't be who I am because to see you, man, through these 20 years of friendship and to see you continue to like kill it and grow and elevate and go after our dreams that we talked about 20 years ago, uh, you know, it, it, you inspire me, bro. You, you still motivate me. And I'm just so proud of you, bro. Like, I don't have any siblings, but I honestly look at you as a brother, and I love you, and I'm just so happy for you, man. Congrats. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> Hey everybody, um, for those who know me personally, you know I'm a man of a few words, thank you. 
I got check, I 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 check. I'm gonna do that at everybody's wedding. <laughs> so I rewrote my speech a bunch of times. It was really hard to kind of really get my feelings on paper. I kept rewriting it and rewriting it, and I kept taking out the really inappropriate jokes and putting them back in. Thank you, thank you. So first off, congratulations to the newlyweds. Now that you guys are married, you can finally have some kids. Come on, we want a girl. Nina, Nina, Nina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That uh, intro was brought to you by all the tias in the room. Because you're going to get asked that for the rest of the night. All kidding aside, but not really. Eric, I've known you for over 20 years. We old. We have grown up together, and we've been through so much, I don't even know where to start. It's been awesome and inspiring seeing you grow from a pimply-faced kid with crazy dreams to a pimply-faced man who has achieved those dreams. He's working on it. He looks good. He looks good today, though. He looks good today. But in all those years that I've known you, I've never seen you as happy as you are now with Vanessa and the twins. I see all you together, and there's like this instant natural glow up to you guys. Like, there's like a spring to his step, you know what I'm saying? And it's not because he's old and his hip is going out. You know? There's like a gleam in your eye when you're with your family, dude. And it's not eye boogers. I checked. It's a beautiful gleam. I see you and your beautiful family, and it just feels right. Like, it feels like it was just meant to be. It's freaking beautiful, man. And I see you taking none of it for granted. None of you guys. You, you're just living it up. Eric, I love you like a brother from the same mother. Shout out to Sarah. Right? I love you. <laughs> Thank you for having me as your most guapo groomsman. It was a high honor. And by the way, I wrote this before Josh it was going to be one, so I still stick by that. The most guapo groomsman. Don't look at Josh. <laughs> Vanessa, thank you for being the beauty that tamed the beast that is Eric. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were the right person for Eric when I first met you because he cracked his really inappropriate joke. And not only did you laugh, but you followed it with an even more inappropriate joke. We all cracked up. It was awesome. I knew there was something special about her. But what sealed the deal was that one night that me and Eric had a little too many to drink at your house, and I freaking knocked out on your couch on the kids' diapers. I used them as pillows. You didn't get mad. You freaking got me a blanket, tucked me in, and you even brought more pillows for like the next support. You know what I'm saying? So when I woke up the next morning, I freaking did the thumbs up to Eric. I was like, she's the one, bro. You got it. This is the one. My neck feels good. She got me. <sighs> Vanessa, you're an amazing person, an amazing mom, and I have no doubt you will be an amazing wife to Eric. I love you guys both. And once again, congratulations on finding each other. Love you guys, and I wish you nothing but the best. But for reals, niña, 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 niña. That's it, that's it, thank you guys. Alejandro. Thank you, thank you. Take it away, brother. Muchas gracias, I feel like I, I have to have this voice. When they say Alejandro, I have to have this voice, I'm sorry. So many syllables. Oh my God, ah, I felt the alcohol would help, but it doesn't. Man, yeah. Uh, first, I uh, want to say congratulations, not just to you, but to your beautiful families that just got bigger uh, this day. If we can have a round of applause for their beautiful families, please, thank you. <laughs> Man, um, you know, I can stand here and talk about the nostalgia and all that. I've known you for um, almost half of my life, my man. 
And um, <laughs> I didn't even write this down. Uh, this part I didn't write down. This part I didn't write down. I'm not a religious man, but I am a spiritual one. This part I did write down. And um, you can feel God's presence. Right now is one of them. So I think I want to say thank you again for that. Thank you. Uh, You're going to hear this a lot. Um, You're a brother from another mother. And I kind of feel God places people in front of you uh, to help you. And you are definitely one of those people. And going by from your vows, your prayers were answered with Vanessa. So again, another reminder, God is here. God is here. Thank you. Thank you. And so uh, uh, when I look around the room, uh, I look at everybody's faces, and I see a lot of smiles on people's faces. And again, thanks to this union. So thanks to you guys again. Oh, my God. (laughs) So I hope um, that... um, these moments right now and these memories today carry you through your lifetime. I hope that when Zeke and Ezekiel, Ezekiel and crew look at you every day, they're reminded this is what love looks like. So um, here's to you. Here's to tomorrow. Here's to, to forever. Um, hope I'm invited for the 25 and 50 year anniversary. So God bless you. I love you. I can't say anymore. I love you. I love you. Let's give it up for Alex. Alejandro, un fuerte aplauso para él. Next up, we got Rick Shucks. I know, right? How's everybody doing? I'm Rick, AKA the black one. It's okay. You can say it. So of course, I had a a little hard time thinking what to say today because when I thought about it, all that came was like three minutes of mean jokes about your exes because we ride for Vanessa over here. You know what I'm saying? But nobody else did that, so I'm not going to do that. But I will say with them exes came a lot of calls from Eric that started with, all right, tell me if I'm tripping. (laughs) They, They was going through it, right? But I didn't get a lot of that when he started dating Vanessa. It was dope. However, I did get one call. And he says, so Vanessa's pregnant. And me, having these kinds of calls before, I said, oh no. And he said, you're on speaker. (laughs) She's here. I said, oh, oh, great. Congratulations, guys. But that's when I found out he was happy. (laughs) Weird. And that's when I knew that she was the one. (laughs) And that's a true story, too. I didn't make that up. I was in Walmart. I remember it vividly. I felt so bad. I'm sorry. (laughs) But I'm I'm glad y'all did that. You brought two beautiful babies into the world. It's amazing. I look forward to watching y'all grow as a couple, as a family, add more kids to that. And just be dope, because y'all are dope. You got you a dope one. You got you a dope one. It's going to be a good time, man. Thanks for having me. And that's it. (laughs) (laughs) Rick Shucks, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it up for Rick Shucks. Last but not least, we got Josh Leva, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it up for Josh. What's going on, everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up? Um, my name is Josh. I'm one of the groomsmen, obviously. 
Um, you guys are absolutely radiating right now. And honestly, just being able to witness you guys get married, commit your life to each other was truly a blessing. So I'm super grateful to be a part of that and honored, honestly. Let's give it up for the bride and groom, everybody. All right. So um, I've known Eric for uh, over a decade now. And um, uh, it's just crazy that that much time has passed and we're here now. A little fun fact about Eric and I, we actually used to be roommates. Um, I remember the first day I asked him if I could live with him because I didn't have a place to stay. He was like, uh, yeah, man, that'd be dope. I think you could uh, help me get buff. And I was like, yeah, I, yeah, I think I could do that. <laughs> and uh, he also told me, he's like, oh, by the way, rent's going to be $400 a month. And I was like, okay, all right. Which was perfect because at the time I was making exactly $400 a month. So I was like, I can make this work. And uh, even though I knew I was going to potentially struggle, I I didn't care because um, Eric was somebody I truly admired. Honestly, even before I met him, I knew exactly who he was. I would watch his YouTube videos in my room and, and just really appreciated what he did for the culture and just creating content and just using, using his mind creatively. And um, yeah, um, so honestly, like having the opportunity to be his personal trainer and pay him, I was like, oh, this is an honor. Yeah, I'm down, bro, absolutely. <laughs> Little did I know that one day I would be standing here as one of your groomsmen. When you share a space with someone, you truly get to know them on a deep, intimate level. The, the acronym TMI, too much information, yeah, that didn't exist with Eric. <laughs> but that's something I genuinely appreciated and I loved about our relationship. I remember we used to go into each other's rooms and we would have these deep late night talks. We would talk about his passion for karaoke, his obsession with Mexican shots, <laughs> even aliens, you know, it was just everything. But the most important thing I learned about Eric was how deeply he loves. Our late night chats often circle back to the topic of love. What he hoped for. <laughs> What's up, Cruz? <laughs> yeah, he would talk about what he hoped for, what he dreamed of, um, a love that's genuine, unwavering, and unconditional. It's crazy because um, as I was writing this speech, uh, I was thinking back on those conversations and I, I realized that you were actually manifesting Vanessa. Vanessa matches Eric's profound depth of love beat for beat. The two of them together have faced challenges head on, always rooted in honesty and unwavering, unconditional love we once talked about in our shared living room. Unconditional love is the cornerstone of their relationship because at the end of the day, we're all human we all make mistakes, but it's that person who loves you through the highs, through the lows, their karaoke nights, the Mexican candy shots. That's what it's truly all about, man. I love you guys so much. Congratulations. Oh, yes, let's make a toast, everybody, to the bride and groom. Lift our glasses up. Make some noise. Let's get it, guys. Cheers, y'all. Congratulations. I love you guys so much. Cheers, 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 love. Ochoa. Y arriba los Ochoas. Un fuerte aplauso para ellos y el